welcome i hope you watched the previous videos about uh, addition subtraction multiplication division power of whole numbers and now we are going to talk about order of operations so if in a calculation we have more than one of these operation the question is how do we proceed do we prioritize some operation or we just do it as we want and uh, the answer is uh, there is an order to respect and what is the order whenever we have parentheses or brackets in a calculation we are forced to solve what is inside parentheses first so brackets and parentheses first otherwise we follow this order power or roots then multiplication then division then addition or subtractions let's do some example and after that i will show you the short way of remembering what to do first and what to do next okay let's do 2 plus 7 multiply by 3 in this case we have addition and multiplication and there is no parentheses forcing us to do anything first so we will go with the standard order and uh, based on that multiplication comes first so i will do 3 times 7 which is 21 and then i will do 2 plus 21 which is 23 and that will be our final answer another one let's do 10 minus 2 minus 3 times 2 here we do have parentheses so we start with whatever is inside the parentheses so 10 minus 2 will give us 8 right and uh, i will uh, write the next step everything i'll bring everything down try to just take your time and write everything back and then here we do have multiplication no parentheses so we go multiplication that's 6 and I rewrite my 8 minus and I will do 8 minus 6 and I'll have 2. So my final answer here is 2. Another one, let's do square root of 6 plus 3 divided by 3. Okay, in this case, the radical, this is what we call radical. This is the radical. The radical covers 3 and 6, right? And the radical in this case acts like a parenthesis. So we do it first. So we do square root of 6 plus 3, the square root of 9, divided by 3. And the square root of 9 is 3. So this one will give us 3, divided by 3. And uh, our final answer is 1. Another one, let's do 6 minus 3 plus 4. We have subtraction and addition, and both subtraction and addition are on the same level in terms of who comes first so what we do is proceed from left to right like this and we do 6 minus 3 we have 3 we write plus 4 and we do 3 plus 4 that will give us 7 so this one is 7 another one 2 times 2 minus 1 divided by 2 plus 2 okay we pretty much have almost everything here parentheses first i'll go two times what is inside the parentheses is two minus one that will give me one and i will write whatever follows two plus two okay and then i see here we do have multiplication division and addition and um, multiplication and division are on the same level in terms of who comes first so to solve it we go from left to right for multiplication and division so we will do 2 times 1 let me rewrite it here divided by 2 as 2 so i will do 2 times 1 first i will have 2 and i will just rewrite the following don't get tired of rewriting everything now i have division and uh, addition division comes first so i will do 2 divided by 2 i have 1 plus 2 and I will complete it by doing this and I have 3 so 3 is my final answer so this one is 3 okay let's do this square root of 4 minus 2 square minus 9 
divided by 3. For this one, you can pause the video, try solving it, and uh, once you finish, come back and we solve it together. I hope you did. So let's do it together. Here we have the radical covering the whole operation. We will solve what is inside the radical and it is everything. So inside the radical, we will go with whatever is inside the parentheses first. So we will do 4 minus 2, that's 2. And uh, we drop this square root and we just rewrite the other one. So don't forget your radical, very important. So after that, what we do next is the exponent, the power. So this will give us 4 because we have 2 squared and minus 9 divided by 3. We don't forget our radical. This is divided by 3. Okay. After that, we have subtraction and division. So what we do is division. And we will have, this will give us 3 and uh, minus 4 and our radical. Right? So this this 3 right here is the 9 divided by 3. Okay, so now what do we have? We have 4 minus 3 only. And 4 minus 3 is 1. And we still have our radical. And the uh, square root of 1 is 1, which is our final answer. So how to remember all this? Just remember to write down the, I will call it word, uh, PEMDAS, E-E-M-D-A-S, right? Follow the order, and the order of operation is from left to right. So we have P for parentheses, E for exponents, including powers and roots. So square root, cubic root, and all that. M and D for multiplications and divisions and they are on the same level in in terms of which comes first so if you have both you just perform your operation from left to right and finally we have a and s so that's addition and subtraction and they also are on the same level Therefore, if they are following each other, you just perform the operation from left to right. So, if you remember PEMDAS, you can figure out how to work it out. Let's stop here for now. We will continue with uh, a new topic in the next video. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and I see you for the next topic.